This is Austin Ox. This is Austin Ox's React channel that he set up for me. He wanted me to watch this a long ass time ago, the Joe Schmo show. We never ended up watching it. Will is watching this right now. Will took over my fucking React metas. There's a video essay about the Joe Schmo show. What? Matt? <laughs> Oh, oh, what is going on? This is Matt. He just found out that all these friends he'd gotten close to over the last couple of weeks were actually paid actors. Wait, is this a spoiler for the Joe Schmo show? Should we just watch it? I mean, I don't give a fuck. It's top of the fucking hour. It's time for a three minute ad break. If you no longer want to see that, let's just fucking watch the show instead of the essay. Let's get into it. What better day than fucking Saturday fun day to kickstart a new show? From what I understand, if I remember correctly, uh, this is a reality TV show. Joe Schmo is a normal guy. All the other people who are his friends are actors. Get the videos from Will because it has boobs. Brother, this is literally, uh, this is Austin Ox. New content arc. Will get started. We'll watch the censored ones. Is it random person? All right. I have to pee. Coming up on the Joe Schmo Show. How is he going to react? Is he going to be pissed at us because we deceived him? Or is he going to be happy? Or is he, he going to cry? We really didn't know how he was going to react. Someone is looking down on me. What is this? Who did this? Listen, calm down. I am oh, not doing yes, soft core do porn. Matt just fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. I want to ride with you to the end. Right now, it really hit Matt hard. What is going on? What would you do if your entire world turned out to be fake? If an army of writers, producers, and actors spent over a year creating TV's most elaborate experiment around you? If they plotted your every move, recorded it 24 hours a day, and put it on national television? Well, that's exactly what happened to this guy. Meet Matt Kennedy Gould. One real guy competing for $100,000 on a reality show that he doesn't know is fake. Starring nine actors. Melissa Yvonne Lewis as Ashley, the rich bitch. David Hornsby as Hutch, the asshole. Angela Dodson as Molly, the virgin. Franklin oh Jones as Earl, the veteran. Oh my God, it has Nikki everything. Davis as Gina, the schemer. Lance Crawl as Kip, the gay guy. Brian the Keith Etheridge as Brian, what? the buddy. Bro, wait, hold up. What? They just said, bro, they just said the gay guy. They said, this guy, nothing else, just gay. What's your personality? Oh, just gay. Love this. Oh, my God. I'm tweeting about this. Hold up. The reality TV React Meta is back with the Joe Schmo show, which was a reality TV Truman show. Let's get it twisted. Get in now. I, I, I'm sick of this. Okay, I need to. I need to just like. I need to do one of these react arcs uh, without even uh, announcing it. You know what I mean? But this seems right up my fucking alley. We used to do these. That's part of the reason why. Part of the reason why they did the uh, the Austin awesome, sent this to me originally, or you guys wanted me to do this. So now I'm fucking doing it. Let's go. Let's get it twisted. React Lord is back. Would you turn on TTS for the show? It made Will's react so much fun. Sure. Also, Kirsten Wig is here. Dr. Pat the Quack. Why? I'm, I'm assuming we're going to get a bunch of these in the chat. So I'm just going to get ahead of it by one week span. Uh, anyone that says dumb shit like this, I'm probably going to just give him one week off. I know a lot of like 40 month subscribers love doing stupid, silly shit like that. So I'm just going to ban them. I do it when like uh, XQC, when we watch a show that like XQC has watched before too. So, you know, have fun. Have fun not speaking. Uh, you can talk shit in the fucking, do not do TTS, trust me. Okay, I won't. I won't, I won't do TTS. TTS will probably spoil it. We'll do TTS when I'm valoing though, because you can't spoil that. Kristen Wiig as Dr. Pat the Quack. That's insane and me, that Kristen Ralph Garman, as the smarmy host. All performing for the one guy who thinks it's real. 
I'm gonna pee, I'll be back. Starting to drive me crazy. This is the Joe Schmo Show. So the very first thing will be to have you guys file in. While our nine actors rehearsed in Los Angeles, we set out on a nationwide search for the star of the Joe Schmo Show. We saw thousands of potential men until we finally found our Joe Schmo, a regular guy named Matt Kennedy Gould. Are you a pretty confident guy? I mean, on the outside. I struggle like the rest of us on the inside, though. But, um, yeah, I mean, I was, I was born with good social graces, so they tend to lend themselves to confidence, but really, you know, I'm just fighting like everyone else. Matt had recently dropped out of law school and moved into his parents' house in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He was spending his weekends delivering pizza and playing basketball. When we offered him the chance to come on a show called Lap of Luxury, he said he was ready. But who could possibly be ready for this? It's day one. The director is prepping the actors while they wait for Matt's arrival. First of all, welcome to The Big Experiment. I am really excited about this. Uh, it's your first day. Let the silences, let those awkward moments play. Okay. We want to hear from Matt. Let him start conversation. You guys are so talented, and you've got your characters down now that you're going to want to, minute one, get all that info out there. Take your time. Can I add something really quickly? Yeah. Just remember, this is a marathon and not a sprint, so first day, real, real, real. We're gonna get him hook, line, and sinker, and we can afford to get outrageous later, so it's just, just keep that in mind. Marathon, not sprint. Yes. Good show, everybody. Guys. The actors are ready as Matt finally makes his entrance. Wow. <laughs> Pretty pimp, huh? I didn't know I was going to be the first person arriving. I just kept thinking, you know, what am I getting myself into? Like, should I pop the door right now and bolt? Thank you. When I got out of the limo, I was much more nervous than I thought I was going to be. And it was so nice to finally put a face and a body with the name. I'm Dr. Pat. My name is Matt. Nice to meet Matt. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh my yeah. gosh, yes, Rickety Cricket and Kristen Wiig are both in so it. So we drove up and got out and seen Matt, and he looked like a big goober standing there. Hi, I'm Earl Bradford. Nice to meet you, Earl. Nice to meet you, Matt. All right. Well, when I first met Earl, he came up to me with a, and I said, hey, you know, my name's Matt, like in my normal voice, and he looked me right square in the eye and went, Earl Bradford. And I was like, okay, <laughs> like, I see we're going to have to take things a little light with you. My initial reaction was, uh, this looks like the all-American guy. Definitely. Hi. How you doing, man? Kip. Matt. This guy's a real homosexual, huh? Yeah. That's what he's so gonna say. Kip, he's, uh, okay, he's a little bit eccentric, which oh. I'm totally cool with. Oh. Where are you from, Kip? What? I'm from what? Atlanta. The Dirty Dirty. Isn't that what they call Atlanta? Dirty Dirty. <laughs> I know that. Bro, what are those, um, yeah, you see, yeah, I called it. What are those fucking cargo shorts, my boy? Listen, my man has the most basic fit of all time. The fattest cargo shorts, okay? The fattest motherfucking cargo shorts, only to be paired up with... Wait, hold on. I'm rubbing his hands together, and I'm... I'm Hawkins or whatever. Hey, yeah. I yeah. fucked this up. <laughs> I know the dirty bird. The dirty dirty. Isn't that what they call Atlanta? Dirty Look at this. Flip-flops. Check. Fattest fucking cargo shorts you've ever seen. Check. White tee under the fucking polo, dude. Down to the goddamn white tee under the polo. This is it. This is it. There is no... This is it. There is no greater fucking American fit that just channels an entire generation, an entire time. This is like a time capsule, dude. Holy fuck. Absolutely incredible, dude. It's like it zaps your fucking brain. Missing the DC, DC shoes hat. Listen. That's when you're out to really party. Okay? Dirty. <laughs> I know the dirty bird. You know, like the fuck. Another thing that could basically complete the fit is, uh, oh, what is it, the puka shells necklace? And... 
a Hollister belt, but it's not like a real belt. It's one of those, uh, it's one of those like canvas belts. It looks like a sack. You know what I'm talking about? That has like the the loops where you like basically it's it's what is it like a web? I don't know how to describe it. Like a burlap belt? Is that what it is? It's like a loop. Belt with thin strap that hangs below the shorts. You know exactly what kind of belt I'm talking about. Cotton webbing. Fuck. It's like a very specific belt. God damn it. Nah, the Puka thing was like for the 2000 fuckboy. This guy is more of a... I, I've seen this was popular. I'll give it a try, but I'm not going all in. A braided belt? I think maybe that's what it is. Yes! Yes! That's it. That's it. That's exactly, but like not that color. None of these colors. Never these colors. Just straight like grayish canvas, okay? This is the belt I'm talking about. Brown, like grayish brown. Just no character whatsoever. This is the default fit, dude. Oh, I'm losing it. Fuck me. Holy shit, dude. It's giving me PTSD right now. Hawkins or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Thank you, Grayish sir. beige. I'm sure Matt was nervous. When I pulled up, I saw him fidgeting, rubbing his hands together. And I'm thinking, you think you're nervous? Try being in my shoes, pal. Oh my god, it's like all guys. What's up, man? What's, What's up, up? Hey. They got cricket. I'm like, okay, here we go. I mean, when else do you get to be in character almost 24 hours a day? And it's kind of a fantasy. So where are you from, Hutch? Houston, Texas. You like the Texans? Yeah, they're all right. I'm kind of an Oilers fan, really. It's my when he started talking sports about sports to me about Houston, I'm like, quick, think of all the sports stuff I know, which is like this much. Remember Doug Drabeck? Doug Drabeck. Uh, the old pirate pitcher. pitcher. And he's like, oh yeah, what about that uh, pitcher for so-and-so? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, it's, uh, he's from Pittsburgh. And I was like, is he trying to trick me here? Like every question I thought he was kind of testing me. Oh Could you ever go to yeah. Austin or anything? Oh, I, don't, I don't fucking have a lot of time to travel. Yeah, <laughs> what do you do for a living? A uh, cop. Oh, are you really? In the limo, my stomach was just doing flip-flops. But I think my biggest fear the whole time... Was I love that they just titled her The Virgin, by the way. Like, her job is to be The Virgin. Like, the sexy virgin, like, girl next door. Another incredible, like, an absolute incredible fucking early 2000s era, like, archetypical, uh, like, an archetype, basically. Like, the, the girl next door who's a fucking virgin who's like sexy as fuck and she's leading you on but like she's also cr like super hot it's just oh god was it's awesome that i was gonna be the one to to you know blow the secret hey my name is matt i'm sorry that's molly. all right nice to meet you molly first impression of molly was built nice i mean that was what i mean <laughs> built about nice mom, like a hot blonde girl you know so yeah, another one. right before the whole game began, and we were driving up in the limo. That's when all of my nervousness as an actor um, sort of surged to the surface. <laughs> Hi. What's up? How you doing? Hi. Gina, she's she's quite sexy too, and I have no problems, you know, with uh, hooking up with other races or anything like that. What? He did not just say that, yo! Let's go. This is it. This is it. Yo, goaded. This is fucking content. Yo, that is the most, that's the least racist man in America. Early 2000s, baby. Said I got no problems, baby. <laughs> oh my Lord. Oh my fucking Lord, dude. Ooh Ooh, I'll hook up with some other races. Like, like that's a thing. Like, the least racist man in America at that very moment. Mathematically, he is the least racist white guy in America. They found him. He's a cold place. Is your back okay? 
I arrived last and the limo pulled up and I didn't want to stare at him because you know, we all get out and we're like so I just tried to look at like the house and check everything out in a very Ashley sort of way. Ashley, Matt, nice Hi. to meet you. Of anyone here, I'd, I'd like to get to know her. <laughs> I mean, as well, he's just horny as fuck, huh? Female-wise. <laughs> Kip, are you about to comment that you like <laughs> Ashley's bag? I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Kip, you're gay, huh? <laughs> Can I see <laughs> Yeah. No. He looked at What the fuck, dude? Kip, you're, 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 you're one of them. <laughs> you're one of them homos, huh? Is that, is that what's going on? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, this show is so sick. Uh, what do you like? A bag? Okay. Uh, then you know. <laughs> Guess you're gay. <laughs> Guess you're into dudes. Love it. Like, yeah, I'm gay. So what? You know what I mean? Which he's right. Why the heck? Why would I have said that? What was the giveaway? Well, that he commented on he liked her shirt and then he liked her bag and <laughs> I mean, not that I care. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. Ralph in his full outfit on the horse. You know, I think fuck? Matt was just kind of like, what For in the record, the world? that's a that is literally a profession uh, professional show jumper equestrian fit that he's wearing. I uh, it, with the exception of obviously the helmet that you're supposed to also have on. Um, I literally had to wear that fit I when I was competing. <laughs> oh, Mickey. With the exception of whatever that fucking uh, scarf is, you're supposed to wear a tie. I had to just stand there and I wasn't and tights those are those pants are not tight enough talking and so everyone's staring at me and I'm staring back at them and the horse is staring at them and they're staring at the horse and no one was saying oh, yeah. anything <laughs> <laughs> Ralph the host I was thinking like ah this guy's a little bit of a tool at first the way he was just stiff and stern you know welcome to the lap of luxury I'm your host Ralph Garman I look at you now, I don't see nine scared strangers. I see nine bold, adventurous explorers. But only one of you will complete this journey. It won't be easy. You're gonna have to outdo, outshine, and outperform your opponents. But first, take a good look around. Some of you may end up friends. Some of you may end up enemies. But in the end, you'll all be part of a very elite community. People who have lived in the lap of luxury. Woo! Yeah. Now you're going to be entering the house in randomly selected groups. The people you go in with are the very same people you'll be sharing a bedroom with. The first group to enter the lap of luxury mansion is Ashley, Gina, and Molly. All right. The next group is Kip, Brian, and Hutch. Pick a good room, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I hope there's three beds. Uh, there better be. <laughs> and the third and final group to enter the lap of luxury mansion is Earl, Matt, and Patricia. It's Dr. Pat. Dr. Pat. <laughs> good luck, everybody. Well, here, I'll just carry yours and come back. <laughs> it was set up that Matt and I were to share a bed along with Earl, and he, and he seemed to buy it. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, that's great. That's cool. Well, there's nothing we can do about it, so. We could have some fun when we go to sleep. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, Honey, Earl, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm here with an ex-marine psycho and some marriage counselor who's been married three times, and I'm sleeping in bed with them. <laughs> Our room. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not too bad, you know. When we were all standing in the um, in the original lineup, he looked back and he said something about Kip being gay. Hey, Kip, you're gay, huh? Can I see this? Huh? Yeah, he outed Kip. He was like, "You're gay, right?" <laughs> and, which you know we hope would come out naturally, but he just—he's just the most progressive man in America. He already said he has no problem with that sort of thing.
He's into <clears throat> miscegenation. He's open-minded about miscegenation. He's open-minded about uh, a person being gay. Immediately outed him. He's like doing beats for us. He's like, he's progressing the story for us. Hey, dude, I wanted to say, when I said you're gay before, don't get pissed. I think Matt definitely felt bad. I mean, you can tell Matt was just really sincere when he, when he said it. Just so you know, I'm Don't get pissed. I'm an ally, bro. I don't... Oh, that's, I was that's just, fine. That's fine. I was just, you know, it's like you never know. When dude, you yeah. In. I'm an ally. Just so you know that, for okay. real. All right? Okay. Great. Fair enough. King. Yeah. King. Open-minded king. Uh, he's not a foe, which is kind of a bummer. You know, unlike me for real. He's not like me for real, okay? This man is an ally, okay? Wait, did I forget to run the top of the hour ad break after saying I was going to run it? Or did I never even do a segue that I was going to run it? Oh my fucking God! I forgot. At the top of the hour, there's a dream and abrick. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free. I can't, dude, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fucking up today. I'm tired. I'm old. I'm washed. And the top of the hour ad break is upon us regardless. No days off. This is what happens. DJ Kento, thank you for allowing five people to no longer see the ads. There's a three-minute ad break now. Thank you very much for saying that, too. You know, yeah, I man. Have to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I was I already like you have to do when that. I said that, like I was like, dude, he's gonna think I'm an asshole, but and the way you looked at me, you know, but the reality of it is is I I'm, I'm down with it. You okay, know what that's I mean? Fine. That's fine. Cool. You know, I was just a little you know, just cool. a little Yeah, nervous. I know, I know. Okay. But I really think that he appreciated me me talking with him and uh we're golden now. It was a great, perfect introduction for him and me. It's it's good. I think we bonded. You know, I hope you don't uh, punch me in the face when you find out that your gay friend is not gay. Next on the Joe Schmo Show. This design is great for any activity. Who would have thought putting on Molly's underwear would be fun? And later... What the fuck? Okay, should we skip the spoilerinos? Since we're watching it? Wait, is the guy not gay? Shut the fuck up. Cool. Yeah, nervous. I know, I know. Okay. I really Is he think portraying himself as a gay guy? He appreciated me, me talking with him, and uh, we're golden now. It was a great, perfect introduction for him and me. It's, it's good. I think we bonded, you know. I hope you don't uh, punch me in the face when you find out that your gay friend is not gay. Oh, my God. That is problematic, sweaty. I fucking Next, love Next, on the Joe Schmo Show. This design is great for any activity. Who would have thought putting on my That's the alone. All right, we're skipping it. We're skipping the fucking spoiler Hi guys. What's up? You're all getting the royal treatment here on Lap of Luxury. But as your stay here in the mansion goes on, you're also going to be competing for a little extra pampering. Up for grabs today, the opportunity to sleep alone in your very own master suite. That's the bedroom upstairs you've all seen and have been talking about. Now, before you entered the mansion, we asked each of you to donate a pair of your underwear. Uh -huh. And it's not because we're sick and twisted. It's for a little something we like to call, these drawers aren't yours. Your job, match the underwear to its owner. Now, the person with the most correct answers would- What the fuck? It's not because we're sick and twisted? No, it is because that is still sick and twisted. The sole use of that master suite. The person with the least number of correct answers, well, they have to wear the winner's underwear for the rest of the day. Now let's get this fashion show started. Every game is rigged so that the story goes as planned. Yeah! Wow. Yes! Oh, you can prowl the night freely in these boxer briefs. The camouflage design is perfect for evading double agents. Which one of you scopes out the opposite sex in these? Yes. Lovely. Number two. A pessimist would say this pair is half finished, while an optimist would say they're just right. Can I show that? I think I can, but that's still risque, bro. Anyway. The crotchless feature provides easy access for the owner and or their significant other. Who owns these wide open wonders? Number three. Yeah, lose track when you're wearing uh, crotch. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Pack up your bait in these fabulous boxers. 
The catchy design is sure to reel in the action. What fish lover keeps their rod in this tackle box? I think that Molly should be proud of her body, because I am, you know? <laughs> nice. Number three. Bro, he is so Ooh, horny. Working. I should have brought my rod and reel. Oh, and, uh, Earl, your turn, my friend. Yes. The women's underwear I was assigned to wear was a uh, leopard skin mini thong. It's really? in my ass. It's like butt floss. Yeah. I'm thinking this is uncool. And I got to take a robe off and walk down this runway. You got to be kidding me. I wasn't sure how everyone was going to take it, you know, Earl being so stern. I mean, that's just amazing to see a guy like this guy's marine through and through. Who's the tiger among us? What number, what number is that? That's number four. OK. Dr. Pat. <laughs> Underwear number five. It's not the size of the elf, ladies, it's the magic. These boxers are the gift to keep on giving. They keep your jingle jangling, especially for that ho, ho, ho occasion. Brian, number six. For the avid cat lover, this animal print G-string is perfect. The breathable fabric provides a comfort Community reacts are back, baby. And by that, I mean, like, not the show community, but, like, reacting as a community. The shows that the community members have edited for me to react to. Shows how long ago this was edited? Yeah. Austin Ox made this. Comfortable fit and the finest fashion. I'm not saying that I felt exploited, uh, per se, but I will say this. They needed beefcake. I provided beefcake. Can you guess which sex kitten owns them? Dear Lord. Yeah, no, 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 no. Thanks for no. that. The worst thing, absolutely the worst thing, was seeing Brian in that G-string. Uh, he had like, he looked like he had like moldy ham, like poorly taped to his ass. His ass was so bad. All right, Matt, you're up. Come on, Matt. Uh, the energy up. to the double T. <laughs> Underwear number seven. Like, I felt a little weird. I was. <laughs> I was worrying about size down there a little bit, you know. I didn't want to, you know, look all small on TV. <laughs> so I tried to tug on it. No. <laughs> no, I did play with it a little bit, though, to get the size up. Does he not realize, like, okay, he doesn't realize that these other people are actors. But does he not realize that this is a reality TV show that he's, like, in a fake competition in? Like, does he think people are not going to watch this? Why is he admitting this? It was a different time. Like, honestly, white people are kind of mid now. Like, this was probably the peak of uh, being a white dude, okay? Other than, like, you know, 1776, I guess. Like, the early 2000s were where white people truly felt invincible. You know what I mean? As a white guy, you could just, like, say anything you want. Fred Durst is it. That's it. That's, uh, need I say more? No. content peak white guy content dude reading a book or watching oh TV God. this design is great for any activity Matt gets up there oh my gosh like he's in like he's really gonna play this he's gonna play every single game like then there was no doubt in our mind that anything that had been written he was gonna do the seamless tummy contour panel provides maximum support and a sleek silhouette killer job man Woo! killer bro all right ashley it's your turn i've been waiting for this ashley yes call the doctor because here comes a heart stopper the breathable cotton will keep you cool, but it will give your partner the fever. It gives me yeah. fever. Which hottie owns this steamy number? Work it. Wow. Woo. Let's get a couple shakes up there. Ashley, thank the Lord, got to wear a cute little black underwear, which, you know, made my day. And probably, I mean, my week and month and 
maybe a year. <laughs> what? Come on, work it. Do it for some. That brother's starving. Okay. He's like, this made my month, this made my day, this made my year. He's just, dude, what the fuck? Thank you, Ashley. You're amazing. And number nine, lastly, Kip. Come on, Kip, baby, work it. Kip, Kip. This is the style for you. The natural approach is a classic. No wonder where it all provides free ball and freedom. Work it, you sexy bitch! Yeah. All right, everybody, finish up your voting. I'm gonna collect your ballots. And then I will return with the results shortly. Next on the Joe Schmo Show. Yeah, I blew it. I blew it the first day within the first two hours. Oh no. Like everything on the Joe Schmo Show, these drawers aren't yours was rigged in advance. The plan was for Matt to lose. He actually matched so many pairs of underwear correctly, we had to scramble to change the answers. Now the actors need to listen carefully as I reveal the new results. All right, everybody, we have tabulated your ballots and I have the answers right here. Yes. It's now time to reveal which underwear belongs to which owner, okay? What a ledge. Absolute ledge. He nailed it. He's too correct at this, which is also kind of suspicious. That, like, he's too good. The fact that he is... The fact that he is so good at figuring out whose underwear is uh, belongs to who is a little suspicious. Underwear number one, the camouflage print boxer briefs belong to Brian. Yeah. Underwear number two, the crotchless panties belong to Gina. Underwear number three, Earl is actually the real owner of the fish boxers. <laughs> now underwear number four, the animal print thong belongs to Ashley. <laughs> Woo. Underwear Matt. number five, the Christmas elf boxers. Those are Matt's. <laughs> nice, oh, Matt. Matt. Am I the only underwear number six, our second set of animal print underwear. That pair belongs to Kip. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I knew it. I, you How do keep, you wear these? You can these? keep those. You can have them. <laughs> well, underwear number seven, those actually belong to Molly. Uh, uh -huh. I think I screwed that up. Who would have thought putting on Molly's underwear would be fun? I mean, but it is very freeing. There's no way those panties would have ever fit on Molly. They were black and huge. And I didn't find out until we were playing the game. You know, Matt, you're wearing Molly's panties. And I think I got this look on my face. I was like, yes. I was like, OK, I almost screwed up because I didn't know what was going on. I pulled an idiot move. I, uh, I got to start getting my head in the game. Underwear number eight <laughs> that Ashley is wearing belong to Dr. Pat. Really? Now, most of you got that wrong. I guess people don't expect doctors to wear a cute little underwear like that. Number nine. No underwear at all? That would have to be Hutch. Hutch is footloose and uh, swinging free. I like free balling, dude. That's a disturbing uh, thought for all of us, I'm sure. Uh, okay, you don't shout. That means that the winner with a final score of seven out of nine is Kip. Oh, Congratulations, oh, Kip. Uh, because you're going to be moving into that glorious master suite. While you're packing, pull out an extra pair of underwear. Because the person with the least number of correct answers has to wear your underwear for the rest of the day. Oh, no. And that's Matt. Oh, Matt will be wearing Kip's underwear for the rest oh, of the day. No. Here, let me just give you these. I have no idea how Kip got seven out of nine. You know, no idea. I think I got two. That's it, everybody. Thanks so much for playing. These drawers aren't yours. Does everybody want to go see what kind of underwear I'm going to put Matt in? Yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when Matt was giving Kip's underwear, he uh he was just a good sport about it, you know. He's like, okay, you know, that's not exactly what I want to wear all night long, but you know, he's his game. He's this real game for anything, which is which is perfect for this uh little scenario that we're so evilly placing upon him. Oh my god, someone in the chat said he looks like Mr. Beast, and you are so correct. What the fuck he does?
Joe Schmo looks like Mr. Beast. All right, let's give him a high. Yeah. I think I'm a good sport. You know, whatever. Where the guys thong. Dog. Literally, dude, don't make me do this. I'm going to do it. There you go. Fucked it up. I definitely fucked that up. Hold up. I realize now Mr. Beast has a different kind of mustache and beard combination. But it's like this. Okay. But wearing it was uncomfortable. It was up, you know, in the crack. I guess that's the point of it. So what'd you think of the first game? I thought yours were the fishing ones. You did? Yeah. With all the rivers and the woods and stuff in Pennsylvania, I thought, yeah. And she, they had to tape up the waist on her. I knew I nailed that one. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Wait, which ones did you think were The fishing. Those were yours. Those were yours. And he just went white. I mean, he knew that he just kind of blew it, and there was this awkward silence. Yeah, I blew it. I blew it the first day within the first two hours. Yeah. Oh, my God, he threw. Oh, my God. He thought he had such a good story behind the fishing ones. Like, oh, yeah, I thought those were... You know, the fishing ones in Pennsylvania. They got a lot of rivers. Like, you know he cooked that shit up. You know he cooked that shit up! He threw for Crypto Gamba. Yeah, literally. That's fucked up. What, dementia card, maybe? Weren't they? Yeah. The ones with the fish? The, uh, I had just totally forgotten that the underwear I was, that, uh, were mine. Earl is actually the real owner of the fish boxers. Green? No. Yeah, the green ones with the... Uh, yours was the one, the blue ones with the fish. Fish. Yours were the fishing ones. No, no, no. You're no, mixing no. up the Santa with the fishes. You're thinking the Santa ones had fish. Well, I don't have them. my contacts or glasses in. Those weren't fish. No, they were no, Santa no, 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 no. Elves. You had the You had the blue one with the big fish in the front. We, we fixed it, but... Oh, my God. Legendary. Absolute save. What a fucking ledge. Absolute ledge love. She fucking did it. It was, it didn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm surprised that he fell for it. I thought the ones you had on had the fish. No, they were little Santas. It was green. Maybe you thought that's why they were fish. Uh, oh, that's, it. that's not fair. You need to wear your glasses that's and it. everything. <laughs> there we yeah, go. There's no reason not no, to wear that. There's no I reason. Can't, I can't. Uh, did they tell you not to wear them for the camera? Yeah, and I got my contacts. I just didn't put them in yet. So that's what happened. I did. I felt bad. I punished myself for that mentally. Yeah, I, I, I went one-on-one -on -one with me. And I said, that'll never happen again. Next on The Joe Schmo Show, Matt Warren. Goodbye to high society. Return to your sad Actors are often judged for their believability. Our actors had to pass this test every second of the day as they tried to keep Matt from discovering the truth. He pulled out my chair, and so I think he's warmed up to me a little bit, so I'm hoping that he and I are buddies so that when I turn on him, he's really shocked and freaked out. Molly, I guess you uh, like to pray before you eat? 
it was good that he did that because she, you know, she was just thinking, ooh, champagne. You know, she wasn't even thinking, oh yeah, that's right, I'm supposed to pray. The moment of silence was my suggestion. I don't pray but I, I knew that she did. We all have a lot to be thankful yeah. for. Anyway. Yeah, for sure. Right. And not having masturbated in a while. What? Oh. <laughs> now Hutch is gonna cause some problems here, guaranteed. And I feel bad, because he's already rubbing people the wrong way. And my stomach's getting tight already, seeing like how you know he burps at the table. And I could see Molly getting a little bit upset. Uh, Hutch feels good. <laughs> I'm like, I'm this guy now. I'm like the, the kind of annoying, obnoxious guy, and I'm, I'm sort of forming this. I mean, he plays that role real fucking well, even in Always Sunny in Philly, you know what I mean? These, it's kind of cool that, like, a bunch of these actors went on to, like, become more notable. Actors. Like, Kristen Wiig is huge. Like, obviously, he didn't pop off that hard. He's, like, rickety cricket on Always Sunny, but still, like, still better than fucking acting in a fucking reality TV show picture for him you know he's taking all these impressions away and so it's fun it's like just to put that out there we should go swimming after uh, lunch i know we have to wait have to like 45 minutes why <clears throat> that's a wife's tale yeah that's not true sometimes i eat in the pool <laughs> seriously at the four seasons in honolulu they have a mini bar and a sushi bar in the pool yeah, and you swim right up Fun. You eat right wow, you've been all over the place. Not the best no. If you can go anywhere, where would you want to go? Fiji. Mm. Mm. They have these little huts in Fiji that go out over the water, mm -hmm. and you live in them, like over the water, with mosquito nets, and it's like the most romantic, I think one of the sexiest places on the earth. I like wow. the bottled water. She's very worldly, been to a lot of places. Yeah, has different experiences for me, you know, more of a, you know, she's... Brother, you've been to fucking Ohio. Same shit, you know what I mean? You're a Pennsylvania boy, but you've been to Ohio. You are literally the same. The traveler, big city girl. Pip was telling me he doesn't know how to swim. So I'm, I'm, I'm proposing... It's not even that, that I don't know how to swim. I'm scared of, like, the deep end. So I'm just... I'm just proposing I wanna, I okay. that we do some lessons if you want. Yeah. And no, you can I break through walls. You know what? Yeah. I'm, I'm past the point where right. I'm not right. going to make no, more never too late. I played water polo. I'm thought. just saying. <laughs> You're not going to make more tree. We've already planted in Matt's mind that I can't swim. We've said this several times. And the Hutch was like, dude, you know, I'll teach you how to swim. And I was like, I don't want anything to do with that, you know? And, and Matt's like, yeah, I have phobias too, man. I understand that. That's totally legitimate. So, of course, now we're going to just, like, poof, push me in the pool and... Hopefully, Matt will save, jump in to save me, my hero. <laughs> You're not gonna beat me, are you? Wanted to get a little swim in and saw such Hutch was in there by himself. Save me, my hero. <laughs> You're not gonna beat me, are you? <laughs> I can't. What is this? The run up, all the way with the run up is just so perfect. Save, jump in to save me. Look at the hero. little dip, 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 dip. hero. <laughs> You're not gonna beat me, are you? Wanted to get a little swim in and saw such Hutch was in there by himself and saw it as a good opportunity to kind of show him that no hard feelings with me, everything's cool. Dude, you're really lucky. You gotta tone it down just a notch. Why? I'm not doing anything. Dude, you're pissing people off. I'm just being honest. If you care about the money, I do. You're really pissing people off. He started giving me some advice just to relax. I gotta calm down. I can't start, I can't just try to provoke everyone. People don't like that. What comments do I make? I mean, I'm, I'm just being myself, dude. I know, I know that. But, you know, whether it be about masturbation, you know what I mean? Like, whatever, you've done nothing. You're pissing people I off. Masturbate. You've done you masturbate. <laughs> Do you not masturbate? I do. I want to hear you say it. I masturbate. All right. I can honestly say it just, it's just frustrating with Hutch sometimes because he crosses lines. 
<laughs> hey, you stay here. I, I want to talk to you. He's actually a nice guy. Next on the Joe Schmo Show. These like, it's not even a Joe. Oh, what? Oh my god! Imagine trying to fool someone who's sitting three feet away from you, watching your every expression and listening to your every word. So you broke up with your girl? People are so funny when they go, uncensored where? It's like, brother, it's like harder to not see pornography on the internet. You know what I mean? Like, you can find titties everywhere, brother. Like, she broke up with me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I want to know before I start talking to you about my girlfriend. Oh, of course. You counsel right. me. I'm like, I want to make sure you're on the up and up. I play Dr. Pat, who is a very annoying marriage and family counselor. Um, I guess her job in the show is to sort of keep things light and calm um, in an annoying sort of way. <laughs> so I have to ask you this, and mm -hmm. please, since I'm glad that no one else is around, but it's just, I mean, maybe I should wait, but I'll ask you. No, go ahead. You're a family and marriage counselor, mm -hmm. but yet you've been married three times. Yeah. Like, how do you justify that? Well, or you know, I immediately had to go through all of my husband's and, and why we got divorced and why it didn't work out, so it was very nerve-wracking. My first marriage, I was very young, and I married someone really young, and he was a car stereo installer, and it just, I got married too young. It's right. just the case of getting married too young. Uh -huh. And I was left with no money, um, broken heart. I mean, he was my first everything, if you know what I mean. I started taking classes at a college and I took um, a psychology class. So I sort of went through all the three marriages, very much in a way where nothing was my fault. I fell in love with my teacher. Yeah. Wow. Which is a no-no. Um, and you know- But it happens. He was much older than I was. He was like 65. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. I think it was sort of a father sort of thing. Okay. He took care of me and right. helped me through school and stuff. Um, and that didn't work out, just obviously for those reasons. I didn't know how he was gonna take it. I really felt like this was one of those things where we're just jumping off a cliff, and I hope we land on a soft place. Right. And my third husband, Walter, he, that one I thought was gonna last. <laughs> when, I, when you go through things, you can help people. Well, the first two, actually. This all shit is criminal? Yeah, it, I mean, it kinda, it, it's like criminal gaslighting. Don't let the TikTokers know about this, dude. Oh, my God. They're going to fucking lose their shit. This is gaslighting. This is, like, literally the gaslighting TV show. I mean, it's very logical. Yeah. I'm not saying that. And like, right. Your explanation is, like, clear. But I'm, gl I'm up, glad that but... you asked me, and, you know, because I'm sure there are people will be rolling their eyes a little bit. But She will explain those three marriages away perfectly, so <laughs> it will not leave you wondering about her skills as a family marriage counselor, but really nice. I mean, and I feel comfortable talking to her. I think that he kind of fell for it because he's been opening up to me and, and talking to me and seeking advice, I think, subtly a little bit from Dr. Pat. Hi there, welcome. Good to see you all again. Take a seat. We asked each of you to bring a creature comfort item. This is a little piece of home that'll give us an idea about who you are. Ashley? Why don't we start with you? These bracelets that I made, and I made them, yeah, for each of you guys. I love them. Ashley made these wonderful bracelets, which, I mean, that's very thoughtful. In addition to her being hot, <laughs> she made the bracelets, so she upped her ante even more. Ashley, um, thanks a lot. Really, yeah, that's really nice. sweet. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous, like, that you would hand out bracelets to everyone. But, you know, her strategy is keep everyone close to me from the beginning and be everyone's best friend. We now have to add the other strategy of Ashley in, which is the conniving bitch that she is. Ryan, I just, I tie him. What's your right. creature comfort item? Well, um, <laughs> I brought this gigantic thing. I had the benefit of living in Los Angeles, so 
When I was in college, I made no money at all. When I was in grad school, I lived in this defunct um, frat house. Leave it to Brian to bring his creature comfort, a, a giant 150 pound doll named Albie. And then, you know, when we were mad, we'd, you know, we'd punch it or, you know, kick it or whatever. But you guys are welcome if you are. Let me uh, say, let me be the first Yeah, if you lose say, the timber. Welcome, bro. <laughs> welcome. For What's real. up? My creature comfort symbolizes, you know, how much I like my family and how much I like kids in general. Matt, why don't <laughs> yeah. you uh, show us what you brought? Okay. This is actually my oldest nephew's Steeler ball. They live in Philly, so we bought him this ball to play with when he comes home. I was sitting in the chair one day watching television. Literally just the average yinzer, dude. Holy fuck! He brought a Steeler ball. God damn it, I'm losing it, dude. Holy fuck! Television, and they were going back to Philly, so my sister uh, had put Sam in the car, and she's like, oh, you're playing with that ball, and I'm like, yeah, you know, she's like, do you like it? I'm like, I love it. And she's like, okay, well, bye, and gave me a hug. God, that's weird. Why would she say that? So I'm sitting there watching TV, and the phone rings, and I'm like, hello? He peed on it. <laughs> I'm like, what? And she's like, he peed on it. I'm oh, like, go! No! <laughs> that's sweet. Patricia, why don't you go next? Oh, okay, Dr. Pat. I'm sorry, I keep doing that. Dr. Pat. Um, okay, this may look kind of funny. These are... Um... Yo, she is like a cut above... I understand why she immediately, like, like, if this was her acting debut, you can tell she is literally, like, better than everyone else as an actor. She's quick. She's already, like, internalized the role. She pops the fuck up. Yes, it is Kristen Wiig, okay? Yes. Literally, like, this is her character that she is playing on a reality TV show 24-7. I'm called Therapy Dolls. I call them my breakthrough buddies. I use these a lot with my um, in my sessions. The dolls, I mean, I think they represent her perfectly. Dr. Pat, she just hope she doesn't want me to sit down and hash out some of my stuff because she doesn't want to know what comes out of here and here. If you want to use them, I'd be glad to work through some stuff with you if you want to talk to me with the dolls, but just don't touch them. Okay. okay. <laughs> So don't touch them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hutch, I am dying to hear the story of your creature yeah. comfort item. All right. <sighs> this is it. My friends call me the Hutch. Uh, this is uh, a night scope, night goggles. Oh, That's wow. Cool. This is for when the shit goes down. I felt bad, like he doesn't have anything to remind him of his family or his folks, but everyone comes from different circumstances, so maybe he doesn't want to be reminded of that. I'm watching everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you, dude. <laughs> Gina, why don't you tell us about your creature um, comfort item? I use this basically to jot down my thoughts for the day, um, my impressions of people, and one of my favorite authors is Sung Tzu, The Art of War preparedness, things like that. I also have a tremendous amount of respect for Hatch from, Mr. Hatch from Survivor. I forgot his first name. I'd never seen Survivor until I started preparing for the Gina character. And I didn't know who Richard Hatch was, and I'm like, okay, but now he's my idol. I just think that it lends itself to Gina's personality, you know, very driven and what seeming. This guy is clueless, man. It, it, I, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't take much to gaslight him. <laughs> like. It also, I mean, of course, like, no one would expect it either. Like, the top of the hour ad break, you're like, oh, I got too comfortable. I didn't realize it's the top of the hour. And then, blam, before you know it, it's like, you know, it's upon us, right? Um, of course, if you no longer want to see those ads at the top of the hour, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. Like, that's usually the way to, you know, combat that when you get scared, when you're like, oh, God! Uh, you can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky, you know what I mean? Cracky McWest side, thank you for the five gifted subs. Allowing five people to no longer see the ads that sometimes come out of fucking nowhere, but are always at the top of the hour. He's a three-minute ad break now. So. Um, as I was stating. Fun fact, since nobody will see this, Richard Hatch is my biological father, says Sean the Dev. Which, of course, ironically, now everyone has seen. You weren't supposed to see 
Come on, man. You think you're going to write something in this chat and it's not going to get sniped? Richard Hatch is gay. What, what, you think gay people can't have children? Like, I'm confused. Also, the top of the hour ad bot only gave this an 8.88, which is, I think, a robbery, in my opinion. Look away. Yeah, he's a donor. Survivor winner Richard Hatch says he might have fathered 200 kids. His first champion reveals he was a sperm donor more than 20 years ago in college. Holy fuck, that's crazy. Bro, you're one of so wait, how many how many brothers do you have? How many half brothers do you have? Do you have any idea? How do we get here at the top of the fucking hour, by the way? Yep, we have 10 so far. That's so crazy. God, I love this community so much. Like that's why even when I'm fucking tired, I'm still streaming cuz like you know, where where else do you get this? Also, look at my yield right now, boys. God damn, boys. I'm yielding, dude. I'm fucking yielding. My pug has gotten 55. Like, Jesus. Sheesh. Is this Logan Paul's scam app? No. The only other epic is the duck. Dude, I have so many orcas. Holy shit. And so many bears. Spend another 100? No, I can't do that. Only organized. Earl, how about your creature comfort? <clears throat> comfort was something my generation uh, grew up to live without, so I didn't bring anything. His stern nature forbids him from, you know, like, I don't need a creature comfort, you know? So and I was a little bit, I'm not surprised, but I just felt a little bad. Like, he doesn't have to be that stern, you know? All right, Earl. Kip. Hi everyone, I'm Kip. I do fashion design and things like that. <laughs> Hutch the Ginger guy is a famous YouTuber. What? This guy? Or you mean uh, the other guy? I don't get paid for that right now. I work in retail. Um, what I brought is something sort of a pastime I do. Uh, I like to make scrapbooks and take pictures of like good times and memories. Cause you know, you always like do something really fun and then you're like, God, you know, I wish Wish I could look back and remember it, right? Kip speaks a little bit like a gay Scarface. If someone takes pictures, only take oh. positivity. I don't That's want pictures of negativity. I only want pictures of positivity. <laughs> That's the only kind of memories I want to preserve in this book. And then by the end of it, we'll look back and you know maybe I can make some copies or something like that. And then you know we can look back and say, wow, you know. That's someone with a good heart and I make fun and stuff and he's gonna see this and hopefully laugh. But really, that, is, that really shows what kind of person he is. And I think we just have one left. Yay. <laughs> <Hi>. Okay. <laughs> uh, my creature comfort from home is a picture of my boyfriend, William. We've been together for six years now. We met at church camp. We were counselors in training. I was 16. Oh, you can tell. I know he wants the brunette lady, but like you could tell that kind of bummed him out a little bit. Been look, together look for six face. years now. We met at church camp. We were counselors in training. Oh, no. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> I was 16. He was 17. And we're saving ourselves for each other. So I know that's kind of strange nowadays but no that's normal. <laughs> well i mean we counsel we actually counsel um no, I was kidding. No, I was kidding. we counsel kids on abstinence cool. it's What's about his abstinence name? william he's a looker he's a <laughs> good job He's such a nice guy. Show and tell was a wonderful idea. I couldn't think of a better way to, you know, learn something more about a person. Smile. <laughs> Matt there is so awesome. He's yeah. like... All right. I think you like the face I made, dude. Everyone went back to their rooms, and then I saw Molly's picture of her boyfriend, like, laying on the kitchen counter. Like, she hadn't grabbed it and taken it back to her room, and I looked at it and I said, you know, Molly, there's a picture of your boyfriend's right there. And she goes, oh, is that where it is? And I thought, like, wow, you mustn't care too much about it if you're just leaving it anywhere, you know? Oops. Uh, messed up. Okay, this motherfucker has absolutely zero vision when it comes to just, like, any other kind of normal shit. 
but his horny meter is off the charts. And I get it. Like, I get it. He is, he is only aware of things that benefit him. You can, like, you can lie to him about everything and he will never fucking, he will never, he will never suspect a thing. But the moment that you're like interrupting his cooming, he's like, wait a minute. Uh, he turns into Sherlock Holmes, like numbers are fucking, calculus is happening in front of his eyes. You know what I mean? He's like, burr, 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 burr. zeroed in on that fucking thing. Uh, okay, everybody, let's prepare for the scene in the dining room. Someone in this room will see their dreams of $100,000 shattered into a million pieces. So enjoy this night, because for one of you, it'll be your last. It's like it has to be not like, oh, are you excited to go on the show or all oh, this? It's like, well, why'd you do this to me? Yeah. Wait, did you have the phone on? Yeah, I do. By the end of the night, you're gonna be like, I think I transformed. <laughs> You know, I was saying before, like, I really have no idea how, you know, men or women wear these things. Like, it's very, very uncomfortable. I don't know. It's like changing your medicine. It, like, it makes you sick for a little while, but then once you get used to it, it's like, oh, this is better. But, like, what? Dude, they should have gotten a gay guy for this. I can't believe, it. like, the gay guy is way more homophobic than, than, like, Supposedly, Mr. Schmo himself, you know what I mean? It's the same thing Let with his phone. Kip is a gay Cuban American fashion designer and uh, he's very flamboyant. And he said, You said, Why? What do you mean? He's like, It's like changing your medicine. <laughs> Come on, bro. And uh, he likes hanging out with the girls, which is convenient for me, the actor. <laughs> okay. It's our first. What up, know, Austin? Long experience. No, it's our first time. Like you and I are dating, and we come home, and I pull my pants off and have a thong on. Don't you think I'm like? What do you think of me? Gay. But see, I don't think. <laughs> you think I'm gay? No, I don't think you're gay. No. <laughs> I know, but you know what I mean, like. Don't ask me. Dude, the white crew shirt is fucking taking me out, dude. It took me out. I just he's gonna wear this every episode, isn't he? That's a staple, dude. That's a staple for fucking mid-ass white guys. Oh, my God. I love it so much. <laughs> Not a lot of straight guys wear them. Okay. So, the the yeah, yeah, you're okay. right. Okay. French guys do. Yeah. Italians. No, it many Italian so guys wear them. Some Germans. Strippers. <laughs> Male strippers. <laughs> right. Well, you're, but, you know, I'm talking spinning. about regular population, you know? I'm and and people that live stripper. on South Beach. You've I'm never seen a stripper? Any female? Man. No. My character, Molly, she's a 22-year-old virgin, and she's just, she's kind of naive, and she really gets on my nerves. <laughs> so, I mean, I just, I feel bad for my other castmates to have to put up with, you know, Molly. Wow, you're missing out. I don't think so. You know? I'm talking that. I'm talking that. She's I, don't, I don't frequent strip clubs, but... They're fun. No, no, no. I've They're seen fun. a porn or two. They're fun. <laughs> I've seen a porn or two. Yeah, good time. Yeah. I like going there. It's just fun, you know? Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's like, yeah. whatever. It's just like, it's yeah. crazy. Because exactly. it's like That's uninhibited. Yeah, exactly. It yeah. is, yeah. And it's fun watching the guys just go crazy. <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> Even better, he's straight and isn't Cuban, from what I can tell. His wiki just says he's half Vietnamese. <laughs> Stop! Early 2000s said, close enough. That'll work. That's awesome. They got a straight Vietnamese guy to play a gay Cuban. Bro, that's so sick. I love... God, reality TV is so stupid. It's my favorite when they think they have a chance with them. I'm like, please. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So, would it be boring if I like asked everybody what y'all do with the money? Just because I want to know because I'm curious. That's not why I came here, honestly. Really? It's not like well, I, if, if he wins, Matt has about to give me all the money. No, if I win, <laughs> believe me, <laughs> getting that money guy. will change my place in life. I've, 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 I've slacked off a lot, and a lot of people my age are a lot ahead of me. But 
That's not why I came. Uh -huh. well, and that's the honest to God's truth. So why are you here? Cool. Why, why are you here? What is Because your... I have nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, I love okay. this. Now that you all know each other a little bit better, it's time to get serious. This time tomorrow night, you're each going to be casting a vote to remove one of your fellow housemates from the game in our riches to rags eviction ceremony. Someone in this room will see their dreams of $100,000 shattered into a million pieces. Dun, dun, dun. They leave the lap of luxury and return to their no frills existence outside the walls of this mansion. So enjoy this night, because for one of you, it'll be your last. And when Ralph announced the eviction ceremony, uh, my only thought was, Hutch is a very nice guy, but I, I think he's gone. I really do. Earl and I are gonna take it as far as we can. Um, Dr. Pack, I think she's a more reserved person. And Brian, I, I don't even need to say a word to Brian. That guy is rock solid, I mean. <laughs> I just really like him. And uh, Kip, as it stands right now, I'm someone he could feel comfortable with. I mean, Molly, on a superficial level, I mean, is built like a Playboy bunny, which I love Playboy bunnies. If Ashley stays, then Ashley stays. I'll say it again. <laughs> Very attracted to her and, you know, would like to explore some possible options. And uh, Gina, you know, I'm gonna try to uh, get Gina on my side for a little while. Like, I don't think there's any way in the world Gina's gonna get voted off. My goal is to have it come down to Brian, Kip, Gina, Earl, and myself and then reassess at that point. If I snore, I hear you snore. I don't know, I've never heard of <laughs> Coming up in the next hour of the Joe. What? Bro, shit's getting insanely spicy. Also funny that. And the first riches to rags in the mansion. Lay over the top. Oh, show. Our unsuspecting he hero, Matt Kennedy Gould, met our cast of fake reality show contestants. He stepped into the house and pulled Kip out of the closet. Hey, right? dude, I wanted to say, when I said you're gay before, don't get pissed. The actor playing Earl learned the hard way there are no second takes. Wait, which ones did you think were mine? You know, right there? Yeah. Yeah, I blew it. I blew it the first day within the first two hours. Matt tried to smooth the waters with Hutch, the asshole. Dude, you're pissing people off. I'm just being honest. If you care about the money, I do. He believed Gina, the schemer, was a smart strategist. One of my favorite authors is Sung Tzu, The Art of War. Nice. Now, Matt is locked away in his bedroom, sharing his thoughts in his daily interview. Meanwhile, the cast secretly sneaks away and meets with the director to plot out the day. Everybody here has been doing an amazing job. We had this guy fooled. Yesterday was a great day. It went, it went beautifully. It could all be over in 20 minutes. <laughs> Welcome to the prison that is our show. <laughs> now we've got to find opportunities to get all of our storylines going. Earl, go more strong silent. Ashley, I think more on dynasty high tone bitch. Molly, I think you've got to be sweeter as Molly. Kip, all you needed to do was bring up the comedy. Does anyone think they can do an impression of Matt? <laughs> uh, Gina, before lunch Michael. is served, we're going to pull you and Matt and leave you in the pool room. This is the first opportunity we're going to have for you to really talk about setting your strategy. Any other questions? The fuck is Matt doing at this point? Like, I mean, doesn't he get suspicious? Game yeah. on, guys. Game on. Game on. Know that we are doing a huge secret. Every day is as scary as the next. I know it said in your confessional, but it doesn't matter. Like, it's got to be weird when he comes back to the house where, where like, no one's there. There's no way that that meeting is lasting as long as his interview is. Gina and I somehow ended up in the pool room together. I saw it as a nice opportunity to kind of talk to Gina about maybe some strategy. 
Ah. Oh. Let me show you what strategy is all about, boy. Let me show you. So, what do you think about this game? I think it's insane. <laughs> but I, but Gina, I like you. I like you too. And I think that you can win. We need to talk. <laughs> I had this whole spiel to give him, to ally him with Gina's character, to ally Matt so that it's Gina and Matt against the world. Like, I'm not playing you at all. Like, I, I, I told him in the confessional room. Yeah. Like, I think you got a good shot at winning, and so do I. Yeah, I, I'm getting the same feeling. How are they playing pool with only two balls remaining? I don't even understand. I'm gonna ride with you to the end. I'm not joking I, around. I think we can. I really feel like we could go under the radar, so to speak, because everyone so, else is like, they're at camp. I was trying to plot with Matt, and literally everything I was about w to say, Riz. he comes to me and says it. And he's oh genuinely God. trying to form an alliance with Gina. Yeah. That's all we need. That's it. And we get rid of the rest of the people. That's it. That's it. Maybe we hook up a little bit. No. <laughs> no, but. First things first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, but you know what I mean. I'm so glad we're having this okay. What? I felt this. What? Bro, my. Oh, he's horny, horny. He's so horny. Don't let him cook. He cooked too much. People from PA just built dip. Dude, they should stop building him like this. Last night. All right, cool. Dude, it's on. After Gina and I were playing pool, I joined the others for lunch. A great. Gosh, a great spread that is a high-priced meal and it looked good. And there was, you know, a smoked salmon. I don't eat salmon, but gosh, I thought, now we've really made it, you know, smoked salmon. Dude, this guy is so Pittsburgh through and through. I'm fucking losing it, dude. It's like, gosh, they got salmon. We really made it. Salmon. I'm where I need to be, you know? Um, Matt from B.A. Oh, Pat just yes. explaining to me how he's going to take care of me if he and I were to hook up. Oh, yeah? I wanted to try to get Matt alone and try to get him to talk about the house, who he likes, who he doesn't like, and try to develop myself as more of the bitch. Ashley and I had a little bit of a physical connection. Like, she was kind of making a little bit of eyes at me. I'm sure, you know, she sees me. Like, I know I'm a, a nice looking guy, but I also know, like, she probably thinks she can, you know, hook me a little bit and then. <laughs> Look at this fit. He can't be serious right now, bro. He's like, I'm, I know I'm like, a, like at least a Pittsburgh nine. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, I'm a nice looking guy. Yeah. You know, toy me around. So yeah. I'm going to try to let her use me. <laughs> this is my goal. <laughs> huh? The heart. Um, I think he's gonna go home tonight. I don't like it. Like he makes you girls feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Guy in khakis. I know I'm a paragon of raw sexual energy. <laughs> yeah, the hutch. Dude, his riz is literally like. Pushing and pulling, okay? He's like, look, that guy is weird, okay? Me, on the other hand, I just want to fuck, but, like, in a romantic way. That guy, he's being creepy and gross. Work it, you sexy bitch! Yeah, he yeah. makes Kip feel uncomfortable. We all have a lot to be thankful yeah. for. Yeah, for sure. I'm not having masturbated in a while. What? <laughs> and, like, since we're just starting out, we don't know what's going to happen. I did have to relieve my... Bro, this motherfucker's whipping votes like... He's working with Kevin McCarthy over here, by the way. It's pretty crazy. The Republicans should have had Matt work the fucking votes for him, dude. They would have gotten to 218 day one. He's out there. He's like, Hutch is gone. He's gone. He's done. Myself during my stay in the pool. No. I paid nursing, but I feel it. No. I really don't want to vote anyone off, but if I... No, but... Ashley, you have to. I know. And where are you going to start? Him. Who, I mean, is there anyone else you could think of? Mom. 
I don't the like gentleman from Pittsburgh for a speaker. Dog the pet. I sort of think that she's a little bit of a nut job herself. I mean, I think Brian's normal. I think mean, Gina too is pretty normal. I just think she's not as nice as she appears. Really? Yep. I think out of any of the girls, she's the one that went. Yo, you guys are looking at his glasses and saying, no way he's serious with those glasses. But that shit went bananas mode in 2000, okay? Like, those glasses, dude, he's got like, that's, that is pure raw sex appeal. Those glasses are the craziest thing about his drip. I would fucking stab you behind your back in a second. I'm just saying, that's what I think. Racially motivated. Yeah. Ashley, by far, is the bitchiest of the cast. But, like, I kind of like girls who are bitchy like that. Like, know that they're nice looking, know that they have money, and know the that they've fuck? been places. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah. How many? Two brothers. Wow. Mm -mm. So, I kind of goofed up because I'm an only child and I said something about having brothers, so then I had to make up this whole story about they're my stepbrothers. I don't really know them. Like, my parents yeah. are only married for a short, well, my dad, I never knew. So Your, your biological father? Right, so okay. this dad is my stepdad. Oh, okay. And his kids, I don't really feel like they're really my brothers. Oh, no? They don't, no. I have to go back and look at my stuff and write down what I just said to him so I don't mess up later. I'm having a good time. I really like this. That's cool. Yeah. Nah, he's clueless. If you give him attention, he don't give a fuck. You're not talking about how you fucked any of them, so he, he doesn't care about that. I'm telling you, don't fuck up about having a significant other because that is the one avenue where my boy is fucking airtight, okay? That... He will, he will notice you're lying about shit like that. But everything else, dude, you could, you could be like, I have seven brothers, 11 cousins. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's great. Okay, cool. Did you see that hot tub up there? Yeah. It's a fireplace. There it is. What, she, outside? Yeah, at night we could make a fire. Oh, man. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That'd be real nice. Yeah. I need that. Yeah. I need that bad. If anyone here, I'd like to get to know Ashley, at least in terms of females. So we gotta get going. Yeah. I mean, if we're gonna use the hot tub, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's his, okay. Okay, we figured it out. That's his steez, dude. That's how he does it. He's like, he's like we should hook up. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's his move. I'm, I'm dying. He's like, <laughs> The classic, but what if? Unless we should hook up right now. Ha ha ha! Wouldn't that be funny? I'm just kidding. Unless. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stay out here. Okay. Oh, cold. Hot tub. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta go. No, I'm gonna stay out here. Okay. Oh. 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 I'm dead. I'm deceased. It's over. It's over. Bury me six feet under. He hit him with the fucking... He hit him with the slab and dab, dude. No, no. It's over. It's Jover, dude. I'll be back out. Okay. Relax. I am relaxed. I'm acting like you have breasts. Next on the Joe Schmo Show, the little game we like to call... Hands on a high-priced hooker. <laughs> Dude, what? Hands on a high-priced hooker? How is this? How is this a show that is a? Okay. Here. <laughs> Why is that? Okay, what is called a Spike moment. TV? That makes sense. We walked out to the game and. I this show. This this episode is called Hands on a Whore. <laughs> saw the table. I mean, it was just set up perfectly for. <laughs> A woman to lay on, you know, and uh, I was very excited. Hey. Oh. Hey. 
pimping, dude. Wow. wow. That's crazy. Thank, thank you. Wow. Now we're talking. That's what I'm talking about. I had a feeling you'd like this, Kim. <laughs> well, everybody, tonight is your very first Riches to Rags eviction ceremony. Where one of you will be banished from the house. Now, before every eviction ceremony, we're going to give you a chance to save yourself with the Lord of the Manor Immunity Showdown. I'm going to be honest with you, this is so much better than fucking Netflix reality TV shows. Like, early 2000s era reality TV was on crack, dude. Literally. Now, okay, Netflix reality TV shows now are literally like hot sluts. You want to fuck but can't fuck. Like, literally, every... Every Netflix reality TV show is like, look at these whores. We're not letting them fuck each other. And it's like, it's not even me saying that as like an unhinged way or like inappropriate way. Like they literally are like every, the first episode, what is it called? Like you're not allowed to fuck show is literally like they start off by, uh, uh, by having all the people on and they're like, I'm a whore. I love to fucking suck. I sure hope they won't let me fu uh, I sure hope they don't stop me from fucking and sucking. And it's like every every person is literally a bimbo. Like every person is a bimbo. They're like, hello, what's up? My name is Michael. I have a six pack and I love putting my dick in holes. <laughs> oh man, if there's my one weakness, not being able to put my dick in stuff, that's a weakness for me. It's like... <laughs> How did they find those people? Like, who are these people? <laughs> the death of broadcast television is sad. Yeah, like, this is, like, at least entertaining, interesting, fucked up, unique. You know what I mean? It's freaking me out of someone that worked on another reality show that also uses Mansion. Nice. Are you the ones queer season was uh, goaded? Damn, you just ripped Cody Ko's flow? What do you mean? Yeah, Netflix is Netflix's new reality TV shows are just awful. Like it just straight up is awful. Bar for bar? What do you mean? The frat voice? You think Cody Ko invented the frat voice? That's insane. Now, you will all be competing for this. Oh, I want it. I want this is it. our pimped out immunity robe. If you win the right to wear this, you cannot be evicted tonight for any reason. Now, today's challenge will test your mental and physical stamina. It's a little game we like to call hands on a high-priced hooker. That's insane. Please say hello to Tawny. Oh, my God. Yowza. Someone is looking oh. down on me. Oh, woo, God. That's you too horny, man. Quest. Fake blondes. Um, maybe it's because I'm humming a humming a humming a humming a one. Um, so I'm always poor. It's getting better. Uh, I love when people, I, I love like, you know, back in the day, people used to say a wooga, humming a humming a humming a, yowza, that sort of thing. And now the youth now just say, get! It's the same shit, bro. It's the same shit. I am getting better. <laughs> he did not just smell that. Well, you'll what? notice that Tawny has bills sticking out of her bikini. What? Normally, snatching dollars away from a hooker will get you a black eye. But tonight, it just might get you immunity. Yeah. <laughs> Each bill has a number on it. And that number determines what part of your body has to be in constant contact with Tawny's oh, body. God. Oh, I'm so happy Some right now. You know, no. <laughs> the person who lasts with their hands on Tawny the longest becomes the first lord of the manor, wins the immunity robe, and is one step closer to $100,000. <laughs> However, if you're the first one to let go of Tawny, you will spend the remainder of your stay in the laundry room. Shut what? Up. Oh, Keep that no. in mind. Hush, yeah. you're up. I love it. And it was all set up so that it would be a battle of wills between Hutch and Matt at the end. Your crotch, Hutch. 
the Tawny's right hand. Okay. Yeah. I'm freaking out. So I'm actually supposed to last the longest, and I'm in the hardest position. Matt, your turn. All, All right. right. Matt, Thank good you. One. Get a good Thank do this for the team, dude. Tawny, I've been looking forward to this ever since you came out. So. <laughs> God, where should I choose? <laughs> I'm going to need a so minute. Many choices. I'm going to need to look around. I delayed my pick for a little bit because uh, Tawny from behind is about as good a view as you can get. Yeah. Oh, I'm just not sure. Usually there's a two drink minimum sure. for this kind of thing, Matt. <laughs> I love it. All right. I love it. <laughs> oh, Matt, you're going to be very happy. I'm, I'm sorry to admit this, and you guys are going to make fun of me for this, but like, I think I was paying too much attention to how hot she is, and I didn't fully understand the game. And to be fair, I, I you know she is exotic. I or I do or have a tendency to orientalize uh, blonde women, white blonde women. So I don't really know. I don't really know what happened. I I genuinely don't. Do you guys know what is happening? Also, she's, uh, I believe, a porn star by the name of Tawny Roberts or something. That's what you guys said. Happy. Your left hand to Tawny's right breast. Uh. <laughs> Brian, your chin to Tawny's forehead. Ashley, your left hand to the left inner thigh of Tawny. Gina, your right butt cheek to her left knee. Dr. Pat, your left nipple to her right knee. All right, Kip, your navel to Tawny's left shoulder. Earl, your right ear to Tawny's navel. Molly, your right hand on Tawny's left breast. <laughs> Can we trade? All righty. <laughs> I will now escort Tawny to her table. Come on, Tawny. Oh, my God. Oh. Tony Roberts. Austin Ox. He put Miz on it. Oh no. Yeah! Are you yeah! You I can't what? tell my boys. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was surprised at how quickly Matt recognized Tony Roberts as an adult film star. He obviously had been a fan of her work previously <laughs> to meeting her naked on the table. Okay, everybody, gather around Tony and prepare to take your <laughs> By the way, this is why this is why you motherfuckers are so annoying. And like, ah, you're stealing will shit. Like, bro, this is Austin Ox wanted me to watch this two years ago almost. Two years ago, he edited it specifically so I could watch it. Your positions. You will be starting on my mark, and remember, there is no leaning on the hooker table. Ready, set. Oh, touch that hooker. Instantly, I felt the life come into me. <laughs> I was trying to think of different thoughts, you know, Rosie O'Donnell, <laughs> thinking about baseball games. I was, I, I pictured a guy hitting the ball, you know, and running around the bases, but when he got to home plate, there was Tawny <laughs> waiting for him, oiled up and ready. Kitties, so a measured response. It didn't work yes. too well. Yes, How you doing, Molly? Shut up. How you feeling, Mal? It's an orange. You know, I was just kind of waiting to see if Molly was you know, gonna go full on with the game. I knew everyone else would stay a little bit. She, I realized she was gonna try to win immunity. And so I decided to just touch the breast, you know, you know, get that texture. <laughs> you know, this is honestly like a dream come true. Oh but, God. but I have to say, sharing that bed oh, oh, is ridiculous. Oh, I and I won't do it another oh, night. Yeah. <gasps> Holy mackerel! You're you kidding me. I heard it. Matt did the one thing nobody considered, and he let his hand off first, and that's when I almost had a heart attack. The initial shock you could do was palpable. You could feel everybody stiffen up. Bro, they thought, dude, they thought he was so horny that he was definitely going to stay bricked up on the titty. Little do they know, he came already. He touched the titty and immediately nutted. So he was like, all right, I'm done.
I gotta go fix this shit. <laughs> he literally nutted and walked away, dude. That's awesome. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know his ass is jumping in the pool. Or he's like, all right, I nutted already. I'm done. Also, later tonight, I'm going to need my laundry room quiet time because I'm going to be spanking my monkey like it owes me money, okay? You understand me? I'm going to be beating my fucking meat so goddamn hard, dude. The cops are going to be called to the domicile. You understand me? <laughs> He's like, I need peace and motherfucking quiet in that laundry room by myself. <laughs> Oh, Smegma grind set. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, if you just joined the, if you just tuned in, I'm sorry. You had to. Well, the second he did it, I just looked up at the producers and everyone was like, we all I know. Were shocked. Yeah. We didn't know what I to know. say. What red-blooded American male is going to let go of a porn star's breast without having to be drug off? You're what? kidding me. You what? are Holy mackerel. Wow. What's wrong? I hate sharing the bed. And I get my own bed, and I need my sleep. And I know you folks aren't voting me off tonight, right? Now they're, dude, what the fuck? Matt is gaming the system, bro. He literally just gamed them. He, he gamed them. He outplayed them. Except, honestly, though, he got, he got played himself. Like, you, get the, you have the opportunity to do a consensual titty touch for an extended period of time, and you're not going to maximize on that, dude? Come on. Next on the Joe Schmo Sh I feel like we are, oh, my God. <laughs> Stop. Yes, it is Kirsten Wig. Yes, she's an actor on the show. This is like her big acting debut. Show. Don't be About to say goodbye. Wow. What's wrong? I hate sharing the bed. I get my own bed and I need my sleep and I know you folks aren't voting me off tonight, right? If you could see our faces, I mean, we're like, what do we do? Do we stand here for the next two hours? Right. This is like a time capsule in more ways than one. Yeah. The edits were made two years ago, okay? You know, my grandkids are going to be watching this. Yes, I love you for this. No, it's been no, five minutes. Five minutes. No. He's out! He's out! He's out. He's out. Oh, I thought oh, the show you were going to last the longest. She couldn't get mad. Too damn. Hey, I don't want that. Gina just let go. It's part of my plan. It's part of my plan. Big mouth. Sorry, Gina, but. Gina, she said, it's, you know, it's all part of the strategy. It's all part of the strategy. I remember clearly saying that, and I thought, is it? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> really? You know what? I gotta get up. <laughs> what? I gotta get up. I, my leg was cramping. Dr. Pat is out. Are you doing? Have Have you ever done girl girl? It's actually yeah, considered lesbian act. <laughs> you are doing girl girl right now. I am not. <laughs> well, that's hard. Yeah. This is girl on girl soft core porn. You are doing soft core porn. I am not doing yes, soft core porn. Yes, you are. This You're on Cinemax. That's for pretty much sure. Sure. This is it. Core. I'm doing core. All right. Up a little bit That's 10 minutes. 10 minutes so far. You Woo! guys are this. 10. 10. Ooh, Give me a high five. High five. Ew, you spit on her. I spit on you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Tony, Molly, you are a... sinning. Think about it. You are sinning. You are, are, you are the for temple. money. For money. Body is the temple no. of the Holy Spirit. You are three minutes away from it, licking a vagina. Yeah, I'm calling. You care. Don't. Do not the size spit. matters. Touch. Uh, Kip is so bad. You are three minutes away from licking a vagina. <laughs> vagina. <laughs> That's what he said. He said vagina. <laughs> Stop, dude. Would pretend to spit on my hand. He would kind of lean over and get a good loogie going, and it would kind of go down, and then he would suck it back in, and it would never hit me. 
Don't worry yeah, about it. No. Let that spit ride. No. You let that spit ride. I do not like bodily stuff on me. Do not He's do not it. allowed to spit It's on illegal. If he do not spit on me. He's not allowed to spit on you. He's, He's not, not going to. He's trying to psych you out. So now, gosh, the hutch is really giving everyone the a hard The hutch. Time. I'll punch you. I'm, I can. Ah, ah, ah. Ow. You yes. Dick. Yes. She jerked and jerked off. No pun intended. <laughs> I caught it. I caught it. In I'm my just hand. asking. No. I will make a deal with the three of you guys. If none of you vote for me, if you promise, I will let go right now. Shoes are killing me. No. No, no Brian. Hmm, I wonder what we can find. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, you guys. You guys promised. I'm gonna let go. Nobody can vote for me. Yeah, that's horrible for your body, dude. I'm sorry. Brian is out. Yes. He's out. I'm going to win. Look at my position and look at yours. That's all I got to say. That is when I think the drama really began. Things seem to really start to get tense at this point. Don't be a jerk. What are you talking about? You're a slut. Look at you. You call yourself religious? You call yourself that you have beliefs? You don't have beliefs. I have beliefs. You're holding on to a hooker's boob, dude. Okay, well, I get trouble if I slap him. This guy is hard. Yes, yes. no contact. She can't touch me. Well, if I take my hand off her breast, no, then can I slap him? Hey, no, no, hey, no, hey Lolly, you've been on for 15 Come minutes, on. and you're going to you let doing? him talk, talk you into doing Jesus. that? Jesus. Dude, motherfucking, oh my God, he's an instigator. He's instigating, dude. He's insta motherfucking gating. <laughs> what is this meme? Matt, Matt when horny. Oh, my God. You smart than holding that. Her tit. Don't touch him. Think about it. You have any morals? You call yourself a moral person? You can You're doing this your for money. Molly. You're doing you this for $100,000. You're holding a hooker's breast. What are people going to think back home? You got to go live your life after this. I can't live so go, life. enjoy, live your life. They're going to see you on national television. Think they're going to edit this out? They're gonna fucking put this on, number one. This is gonna be in the promo. This is gonna be on the advertisement. This is probably gonna be on the poster. Yeah. So enjoy. That's right. You, you, talk, you don't have to do to me. You talk to him, dude. Uh, oh, okay. Molly. Molly. Molly is out. You're like, man, it's being an asshole is tiring. Because um, I'm, I'm not like that in real life. I'm uh, extremely polite. Kip. What? Dude. If oh. you don't let go, Yo, uh -huh. come on. I'm gonna throw you in the That's freaking great. pool. That's great, though. Every opportunity I get. Don't even say that. I will, dude. You're not gonna throw me in the pool because I, I can't will. swim. So he don't. Can't swim. You can't threaten okay. me like this. I have been threatening Kip about his swimming. That I would throw him in the pool. He better watch his back. A bunch of times in front of Matt, and we made sure Matt saw that. You are not throwing him in the pool. I will whoop your ass if you throw him in the pool. Dude, I'm just playing the game. This is what the game, you have to step up to the plate. Okay. You want to win the money, you got to step up to the plate. Then you are... You know what, you know why? Aren't your legs tired? Yeah, That's... they're tired, dude, but you know what? I'm going to stick in there because I have fucking discipline. Unlike you, you can't even take a swimming lesson, for Christ's sake. I don't want to... Just learn how to swim. You're fucking 26, 27 years that. old. Dude. Jesus. Kip, if you, let man, him in, if you let him in, I'm going to be real pissed. If you let him get to you like that, I'm going to be real upset. I don't think Hutch would dare say the things that he said to those people to me because I'm bigger than him. He's a yinzer with a kind heart. He's a little slow, but that's okay. Unless he's horny. When you get him horny, then he acts up. I'm badder than him. <laughs> hey, Kip! Kip, Watch don't even it. respond. Yeah, well, Cause you got the Matt man. He Bro, he literally sounds like Mr. Beast. I'm sorry, that lit just straight up. That was right there. Sounded exactly like Mr. Beast. Hey, Kip, Kip, Watch don't it. even respond. Yeah, well, Cause you got the Matt man. Need to that is on. I this is Mr. Beast's relative. Okay, this is a Mr. Beast's relative. This is this is Mr. Jimmy. He sounds exactly like him. You got the mat man. <laughs> you got the mat man. I'm the sickest dude, the baddest dude here. There was a moment where he he looked like he was gonna hit me if if I did anything to Kip. Kip, I'm gonna break hey, you. Kip. I I will ride you hey, to Kip. hell. I'm the devil, dude. Kip, will you listen to me? Will you listen to me? For I'm one serious. Second? Don't even look at him. Kip, will you listen to me? I want you to look at me. me. I'm going to break you. It's I will stand here it? for the next In two days. Ask yourself. Here's what you. Here you go. Let's look that way. Fine. 
He can look, but you can still hear. No, he can't. I don't, I don't respond good to this. I don't like this. For no! The next two, I don't want to do this. Hey, Kip! 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 This is too much pressure, guys. No, I don't want to do this anymore. You're, listen, you're gone, dude. Listen. You're already gone, so get it now. No, you're not. Oh, this. man. Yes! <gasps> yeah, that's why you almost fell. He Congratulations, up. Hutch! Whoa, what do you mean? The final person on Tawny's body was supposed to be on there for 10 seconds following the second to last person removing. What do you I jumped mean? up the celebration off the hooker. Matt instantly pointed out, like, whoa. So I was like, oh God, you know, I quickly squatted back down onto my, my crotch onto her hand. But we just sort of pushed through it and they just like, Hutch wins, Hutch wins. No one brought it up. I wasn't gonna, certainly gonna do it, though, you know, I did, Hutch was an easy vote for me. Um, but I really think that Kip won that game. Hutch! Bro. Not only have you enjoyed quality time with a quality lady, but you are the first Lord of the Manor. I'm immune, baby. I'm immune. Congratulations, dude. dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to well. everyone. The Lord of the Manor immunity robe is quite pimp. I was envious not of the immunity, yeah, but just about how pimp he looked in it. Honey, you are exempt I'm from I'm eviction sorry, I, tonight, I need Hutch. A single bed by Congratulations. <laughs> Until the next immunity showdown, you will not be able to be evicted Woo! from the house, dude. The most important thing to me is just touching that right breast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to you, Hutch, but like, I want to win, but not sadly enough to hurt you. Next on The Joe Schmo Show. This is under G. This is crazy. I'm freaking losing it. Hold on. We're skipping the... No, later. The problems, of course. <clears throat> All of the other characters supposedly has written naughty things about everyone else all of the other characters and basically someone's going to find it and show it to matt and use it try to use it to win matt over and say let's oust gina should i find this now yeah okay let's be down here yeah. you never i never watched it on spike tv years ago i was in turkey when who this is it out. brother Man. i know a lot about americana but I did not know that Spike TV even existed until I came to the United States of America. And uh, unfortunately, that, that part of history is lost on me. This is completely new stuff for me. I know it was like a, like a man channel, right? Like uh, Dr. Pepper 10, only for men, no women. Hey. Close the door. I'm sorry. Dude, don't be sorry to me. You just got emotional, man. Don't feel bad. I just wanted to tell you something. Yeah. Come here. I came in here, and while well, I'm in here, I took my heels off. I went to put my flip flops on. This is on Gina, under Gina's bed. Look what it said. Ashley. Hey, Ashley, a prima donna. Where did you find that? Right here, under her bed. Like you were just having a bump across it? My flip flops are right here. They had found uh, her board, um, and on there she had everyone's name listed and, you know, things next to their name. Earl, nothing. Dude, why am I so hooked on this? I'm so hooked on this. This is like, this is so stupid. It, it's hooked me. B, Brian, weak, Hutch, dick, out. That's her boat. P, Pat, Quack, A, Matt, Wild Card, who's Mo? A Molly. Molly, Simpleton. I think this is really shitty. I don't think that's right. I'm gonna vote Gina. I want the vote off the home. Oh, no. Hold on. But they have an allegiance. Um. Oh no, he in. has an allegiance with Gina! It's so spicy! Close it up, close it up, close it up. The thing about it for me is, I just don't see why she would write that down, like, and not expect people to find it. Look at this. This is, this is um, um, Gina's what is board. What is that? And she's Gina's like, board? And she's like, look at what she's writing. I don't know if we should be looking at this. Uh, well, she showed me earlier. I don't think we I, I, I know. I know. I, I just, I know. I'm guessing M.O. is Wait, me. Matt, is this wrong to do it? I'm should we, should we just not, me. should we put I'm it away? Simpleton? I don't even know. I'm not. I'm not making judgments or whatever. That if if she's dumb enough That's to leave that right there, 
then by all means. And what, I'm caught on tape. I looked over and saw it. Yeah. You know, I just don't You're want right. any part well, of that. She told us, right. she told, told us before that she was writing on it, so. I know, I know. I didn't want to talk about it, so I left the room and got in. Matt is not the only one who's horny. Stop, dude. Dude. I mean, come on, chat. You really got to stop doing this. I mean, that's like, wait, hold on. In the past 30 days? Okay, it's not the biggest spike in the past 30 days. A lot of people on, on Christmas, for some weird reason, decided to Google it. The fuck did she do on Christmas? Is that when Will watched it? It's lit. You guys. Okay. Will's community is hornier than ours. Okay. Good. Even though a lot of this community is also Will's community. God damn. Y'all are the fucking worst, dude. Will was with his family on Christmas. Only because we ban a lot of those coomers here now. They have more freedom over there. Motherfucker, we are Will's community. Yeah, oh, that's true. That was when I searched it. Gina got you on the list. What? Where? The H is for a song. Tell me. I was in the pool and he pulled me aside and he's like, yo, you know, they found what you wrote about him and I, I really don't know how I can help you. You're in trouble. Okay, tell me what. You're in trouble. I had this really bad feeling. You know what we were talking don't about? Don't act like we're talking about anything. No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just telling, but you know. We found that board under your bed. She was like, real dramatic, like, oh, well, we're, we'll work something out. And like, kind of different than she normally is. I don't know if I can help you now. I know. I don't know if I can do it. I mean, believe me, I'm not gonna put your name down, but. I know, that was, that was everything we were talking about. Boy, you know, how could that happen? Like, kinda like fake a little bit. Oh man, okay. How about this? I know some people are gonna vote for me, but we, we don't want them to think there's any alliance or they're totally not gonna let you say anything good about me. Because right now, I have to win favor in, in someone else's eyes. And she was very odd at that point. Very odd. Okay. All right, G. I'll talk to you. Talk to you later. Okay, we'll definitely talk. I thought that we set something nice up, but I'm starting to get an odd feeling that she's trying to play me a little bit. No, I didn't see you carry anything in when you come in. Yeah, I, I don't know what I did with it. And you don't, oh, there, have, you don't have a watch anyway. I made my move into the laundry room just before dinner and knew that I would be comfortable. I have my quilt from home and my Steeler Ball Creature Comfort, and I thought, this will be great. And he's got the white crew neck underneath the shirt, a staple a staple Yinzer uh, fit, you know? He's, he's ready. He's got a Steeler Ball. <laughs> Earl? And they don't want to do it, oh, old man. man. Don't hug me. I hate that. Jesus. It's cool. It's been real. It's been nice. But it ain't been real nice. <laughs> yeah, we'll miss you. Yes. Not that bad. A lot better than sharing a bed. I was happy to see the single bed, and I thought, this will be great. He's got Tawny in the, he's got Tawny on the mind, and he's got a room full of privacy for himself. It's fucking hog spanking time, baby. He's punishing that hog, okay? That hog's been a dirty hog all day, okay? Time to, time to get the punishment that that hog deserves. A new bed. Next on the Joe Schmo. 
when I was sitting down with my dinner, the taste of the dinner was great. Um, but the best part by far about the dinner, uh, I guess Kip had a surprise he wanted to give to everyone. I love um, impersonations. I want you guys to impersonate each other. <laughs> and, and whoever does it the best, um, in my eyes, um, wins a very special prize that I, can, I am allowed to give you. Wow. Can I go first? Yes. Very nice. Okay. okay, let me let me think of it. Yeah, he loves impersonations. We know, motherfucker. He's impersonating a gay Cuban man when he's a straight Vietnamese guy. I love it. What are you kidding me, man? You've got to be kidding me, man. You think? Do you think that I don't like clothes? I love that bag. I love that bag. I love that shirt. At that moment, it like clicked in perfectly where I think I sounded like Tony Montana, but I really sounded gay as well. Now that's hot, hot, I have to forgive you. Hutch, I have to forgive you because. Oh, that, he's going. The... Oh, he's going. He's going. He's doing the wrist and everything. He's, he's putting his ussy into it, okay? He put his whole bussy into that shit, dude. Where you playing the game? <laughs> and this is who I am, and this is something that I have to deal with. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Yes. Molly. <laughs> There's just a lot of love here tonight. We have a lot of love going on. Fuck up. <laughs> I have a boyfriend named William, and I go to church. <laughs> this is not like it was in the Bahamas. <laughs> I have my own strategy. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I, I was kind of afraid she wasn't going to take her jaws off. <laughs> <laughs> you got me down pretty well. All right. Every time I look at Matt and I think he's concentrating. This is my imitation of him. Yes. Concentration face. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. That is oh, good great. Oh, I can't even close I'm to him. Flattered. Okay. That's funny. Well, uh, thank you very much for doing that. That was fun. That, that was, was great. Oh, yes. That was. Yes. That's What's a good game. That's a What's cool this? game. Um, okay. Come on. Die in here. Well, the person that I think should win because he was so nice to me today, but on top of that, you were so amazing oh. imitating me. I thought I was looking in a mirror, <laughs> but like a crazy funhouse mirror. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he wins. You win. Thank Hands you. down, that was great. Thank because you. whoever impersonates me wins. <laughs> no, and the, 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 the prize is, and this is because I'm just lonely out there, and I want to be around people. Oh, 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 yes. oh, oh. I'm, I'm going to give up the, the you master You're going to give it up? What? Oh, oh, yes. oh. From the oh, oh, great, man. Thanks. Kip's contest was really a setup to finally get Matt alone in the master bedroom so we could keep a closer eye on him. Here I went, and one day from sharing a bed with Dr. Pat and Wait. Earl to no moving way. my stuff in. That's why they set it up, because they were like, he's horny enough that, like, he'll definitely. <laughs> they were like, he's so horny that, like, he'll definitely stay on the titty. Meanwhile, he was too horny, and he had to rip his hand off that titty because he came. Which, by the way, you will never convince me that that is not the reason why he, he wanted to fucking... That he pulled off early, okay? I'm telling you, dude. He straight up was like, it's the top of the hour. There's a three-minute ad break. And I only I, the only thing I got is just a minute and a half to nut here, okay? Except if you want a nut, i.e., no longer see the ads at the top of the fucking hour. Well, then all you need to do is subscribe, baby. Woo! I might be fucking washed, old, tired. I'm going to tell you something. Still got it, baby. You know what else, though? 
top of the hour is still upon us. So here's the three-minute ad break now. God of Fist, thank you for the five gifted subs. Here's the three-minute ad break now. Sheesh. BS. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, allowing a total of 15 people who no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. Zero politics streams are fun. Yes, dude. Yes. Yes. I know. It took a lot. It took a lot to get here. It, like, in the beginning, in the first hour of the stream, motherfuckers were just going crazy. They were like, what? You need to talk about Armenia. You need to talk about Romania. You need to talk about Albania. You need to talk about all the manias, dude. Everything that's going on in the world. And I was like, no, please, please. Like, let's just have one fucking... Let's just have one day with no fucking politics. And everyone's like, no! How fucking dare you, sir? I literally thought, like, before we started watching the food videos, I was like, I'm going to end this early. I'm going to end it in, like, two fucking hours. Like, there's no way I can get through this goddamn day. I'm so fucking tired. Oh. Into the laundry room, too. Moving to the master suite. And I thought, this will be great. As we lined up for our first Richest the Rag ceremony, you could cut a knife through the I ran the ad already. High. Ashley even had me feel her pulse, and it was like pounding out of her skin. I am taking a break tomorrow, but don't worry, fear not. After this content is over, we're gonna get fucking. We're gonna get the fucking dude. And by that I mean Valorant. We're gonna be playing Valorant. Good old fashioned gaming. I gotta pee. I'll be back. The past two days, you've all enjoyed the good life in the lap of luxury. But for one of you, the vacation's over. That's right. One of you is about to say goodbye to high society and return to your sad existence, working for the man. This is the riches to rags eviction ceremony. You're all represented here with your very own lap of luxury collector's plate. Your plate, much like your situation here, is very fragile. As long as you remain in the game, your plate will remain whole. However, if you get the most eviction votes, your plate will be cast into the fireplace and shattered, along with your dreams for $100,000. Well then, it's time to cast your votes. Keep in mind, Hutch is wearing the immunity robe. You cannot vote for him. So choose wisely. Fucking Hutch is killing it, dude. Molly, we'll start with you. My zoo is cooking, dude. Look at that. It was rigged, and we would write down the names of the person we were supposed to vote for, but we'd also have a little fun. What? They're not. They're just writing the oath. It was rigged, and we would write down the names of the person we were supposed to vote for, but we'd also have a little fun. <laughs> it's a pugo ableism. Lab of luxury. My ass! No, it's not one episode. There's more episodes. Molly. Wow. 
Wow. Molly came down with a disease. Having a fucking boyfriend. Okay. All right. I'll go collect the votes. I said, stop, stop, stop. It's terminal. The energy between everyone was just, the tension level was super high. I think the vote is the most difficult part of that process. The votes have been collected and counted. Let's begin. The first vote for eviction from the mansion. Gina. The next vote. Molly. Gina. Matt. Two votes Gina. One vote Molly. One vote Matt. Damn. Gina. Oh, shit! Gina. Oh, they're going by fucking 90 scary movie rules, bro. Black person gets uh, clapped first. Is the classic. This is also an age-old classic. Racially motivated. Typical. Typical, okay? Of course, immediately. Immediately. A classic. A staple. Gina. Gina. What? Someone is fucking. What the fuck is this? Gina. Sheesh! With Sheesh! seven out of the nine votes, Gina is cut off from the lap of luxury. Gina, before you go from riches to rags, Please step forward, serve me your plate, and address the group. Well, it looks like this is how it's going to end. Um, I'm going to leave this show like I played this show, with a lot of self-respect, pride, And I'd like for you all to know that <laughs> this is a house. And uh, houses have varmints. <laughs> the hierarchy of those varmints is snakes eat rats. Rats eat smaller rats. The small rats eat the little tiny rats. And the little teeny tiny rats okay, who can't eat anything else, they eat the cockroaches. And that's what this behavior is um, symbolizing to me. The mentality of cockroaches. Gina's speech, the parallels to that speech from Survivor are uncanny. <laughs> Gina follows Richard Hatch, so perhaps her subconscious kind of threw that into her mind. <laughs> He's so stupid! Any of you in an alley, writhing of pain? <sighs> and all I had to do to uh, counteract that poison, or maybe worse, that was making you writhe, I wouldn't do it, because this was... I can't lend myself to stupid behavior and people who can't appreciate things. And this was very stupid. And Gina, it's time. The house has voted. That's fine. You didn't do anything to me. Oh, okay. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Gina, you're dead to us. <laughs> this show is insane, brother. Oh, it's so, so crazy. Please leave. They broke it. Can you get me out of here, please? How do I get out of here? Stupid door.
Obviously, these evenings are going to be difficult. Probably more so as we continue. Can you stop me? I'm done. But Can you stop me? there are eight of you now. You're all one step closer to $100,000. But it would probably still serve you well to think about what happened here tonight. Whatever that may mean to you. Yo, You've she... have got a big day tomorrow. She acted her face off. She's overacting a little bit, but like she did. She ate! Let's get a good night's sleep. I'll see you all in the morning. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm motivated. I'm invested. This is good as fuck, dude. Man was rolling his eyes during Gina's kind of over the top speech and we thought he was onto us. So I ran into the room and say, you know, try to smooth this over, figure out what's going on. Dude, first listen, I died for Gina. Stop, stop. My mind was locked in on what am I gonna say when he accuses us of being actors? Stop. Seven fucking votes, okay? Seven votes. I voted for her. Listen, listen to me. It was, there was a vote for Molly, a vote right. for me, and seven for her. Right. Well, who the fuck do you think Gina voted for? Gina's not allowed to vote Gina. Right. Gina fucking greased me. He was pissed off, not that he thought we were actors, but because Gina had screwed him in the game. She, she greased that me. Was and I knew today, she fucking, that was, Hey, I mean, whatever. I guess I felt, I guess I made a bad judge of character. But I felt bad about voting for Molly. I think she's great, but, it doesn't but I didn't. Okay, for everybody saying like, um, for everybody, dude, listen, listen. For everybody saying, oh, he's so dumb, he's so dumb. Dude, no one's expectation, not to defend the Yinzer here, but like, you know, Pittsburgh pride a little bit, Steelers, go Steelers. Um, but, like, no one's expectation is that, like, they're going to be surrounded by fucking people that are, you know, fucking them over this aggressively. Like, that's insane. He doesn't know that they're actors. We're looking at it. We're looking at it with the, with the, with the benefit of, uh, you know, hindsight. It's full Truman Show. It was I knew she wasn't going to lose. I can't believe that, that he was an onto us. I mean, I was positive we were through. All right, dude, I'm glad we got to talk. Take care, I'll see bro. You, man. All right. <laughs> I'll see you, man. Gina, this is my opportunity to say goodbye to you. Uh, however, I'd like to change it to good riddance. Damn. Next time on the Joe Schmo. Okay. That's crazy.